What is going on guys and girls, how are you doing that single roleplay once again and today I want to show you guys the build which is my fourth build of the Delirium League and this is the uh, Herald of Agony Marks Blog Gladiator. You know, originally I was kind of very skeptical with the Gladiator at all because uh, there was my League Starter which was the Blade Flurry Gladiator which I respect into the Blade, uh, into, into the Champion because I felt like, you know, too much chaos damage and explosions, all these delirious explosions that just went through the block and I didn't really feel very tanky so I was very skeptical on this uh, build. The build is nothing new or nothing old, it's been there for a while, it's just pretty niche stuff because the majority of meta cocks still prefer jagging out for some unknown fucking reason even though Gladiator is incredibly strong. Uh, for a couple of reasons, you know, you can stack over 80% block or going over the max block cap. And practically, I mean, there isn't be the difference between the Jag and the, and the Gladiator, if you want my opinion, is that, you know, Jag still takes a lot of damage, it's just how he recovers from the damage. He has a lot of mitigation, uh, but for the block, nothing just goes through. Just nothing goes through because you have like 80% spell block and 80% uh, attack block so practically you just never get hit by anything that's why it's so fucking tanky another fun aspect of this build is how incredibly cheap it is uh, you know a couple of weeks ago I made the money guardian version of the herald of agony and it was nerfed actually uh, when the energy shield went down by several thousand so um, I wanted to see like how cheap is that how it can handle con with that and surprisingly it was like 10 times cheaper than the money guardian version Practically all the investments is just the chest, all the other gear is like trash compared to the modern gear and assault is like fantastic leak starter, very cheap, can do all content, I level up to 97 without any problems. The damage is absolutely comparable to the normal money guard in Herald of Agony, so absolutely fantastic, like several millions of uh, DPS on the Herald, so uh, it's like way cheaper and comparably tanky version of the Money Guardian Herald of Agony build, which I can totally recommend for all players, both you know, all the new if you want to do all con and especially for hardcore, highly recommend it. Let's take a look further on. Speaking about the build itself, I would say that this is probably one of the few tanky, true tanky builds that I still left in the game. And this is tankier even than the Reckoning uh, Gladiator that I did because this is overcap block. This is just pure tank, it is, you don't need to do any damage yourself, you're just, you know, spinning with Cyclone, stacking poison and summoning the uh, Herald of Agony and that's about it, you don't need any damage, doing any damage or whatever, just like build for tankiness to sustain as much damage as you can. Uh, that's what you see right here, is the 100% Delirious tier 16 tower with 4 sextons and beyonds on top, so this is as shitty as it can be and the build handle is just nice I mean it's not immortal or anything you can still get killed by an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage but uh, I used to have been sitting in beyonds I've been killing causes and bosses and all that shit and overall tier 16 delirious is just ridiculous especially like the 100% delirious maps are just an absolute waste of time I just did it for science, although I do not recommend doing 100% delirious map because the monsters are just so tanky, they have like so much life and bosses just take forever. So yeah, not recommended. Overall, as for the build guys, like I said, it's very tanky and cheap and uh, I would definitely recommend it as a league starter for any player out there, especially in hardcore because there's not many true tanky builds out there, especially considering the amount of investment that you, that you do. Comparing to the Marine Guardian is very cheap, comparing to most of the builds currently be able to do content, this is very very cheap, so can definitely recommend that. Uh, overall, I, I haven't really died a lot on this character, I think I'm on the road to like 97, I haven't really died like uh, uh, once, because from 95 to 97 I haven't really died at all. So I level up to 97 on my own. And overall, uh, this is one of the builds that I can like play any day, uh, just like the Reckoning Cyclone Gladiator. Just any day, any time, I can jump on that and just you know cruise for content without any, you know, whatever. Basically, with, without thinking much. This is literally like a one-button build, guys. So I can totally recommend that for any of your needs. One of the only builds that can't fail 100%. 
Let's get going and check path the building. Before we go further into the video, I would like to stop for a second and thank my Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers. You guys are making a huge impact on my life and allow me to get going and continue creating content for all of you. Thank you so much. If you want to make it into the least and immortalize yourself on the internet, join Patreon and get sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage of my work. I'm always looking for feedback on my content guys in order to improve so make sure you always leave comment, like or dislike, your reaction is very important. And remember, you, yes you, are making a difference. Here we are in the path of building guys and this is my exact character. I was talk about the ascendancy first. This is the gladiator, the tankiest guy in the game actually. Uh, first thing you need to take is pain forge full block and versatile component for uh, doubled uh, chance to block spell damage which is equal to your attack block chance. Now next we take violent regulation and the last one is for just a attack speed and movement speed arena challenger. We don't care about the rest. Uh, for these skills and tree, I'll talk about this tree first. The, the tree is actually uh, mostly about cluster jewels. Luckily, cluster jewels are amazing for this build. And this uh, is th like the fresh version of the blocking gladiator. It's not like outdated or anything. It's very fresh out of the oven, guys, because this version is using all the juice for the cluster jewels. There's no broken shit, there's no heralds taking diarrhea. There's no voices here, just your normal average tools, affordable. Couple of them are the same, uh, but I will talk them, uh, about them a little later. But so let's talk about this thing first. Starting as the gladiator over here, take attack speed. We don't care about any life or whatever the fuck there is. Uh, grab the life, grab coins, blood. You can get this thing later, but I would recommend taking this one early on and get yourself a jewel with money gain for each enemy hit by your attacks because we were playing uh, Cyclone as the proc for the poison and especially at the early stage of, stage of the game you really need to get this mana back because the channeling cost is pretty expensive right now we can get the mana cost on the chest because we're using a unique chest called skin of the loyal so we can't afford anything like that so this is one of the sources of the mana that we regain Next, we transition into this and taking this uh, note for the cluster jewel. The last cl large cluster jewel is uh, minions take. Uh, minions uh, have 10% chance to deal double damage when they are in full life. Since our minion is always in full life, uh, let me check if it's there. Yeah, it's always in full life, so it always deals 10% more damage. So, yeah. And impale on hit with attacks as well because uh, the Herald of Agony is mostly Fizz to Chaos conversion, so he has still has some Fizz damage in it, so definitely can impale. The mediums are uh, this Disciples and Pure Agony. There's actually two of them. Uh, physical Blood Reduction per Summon Sentinel Purity doesn't care. All we care is you lose Virulence 30% slower, guys. <clears throat> And minions deal 10% increased damage while we are affected by the Herald. We'll always be affected by the Herald of Agony. So we'll be always be dealing 20% increased damage. As well as plus 5 to maximum virulence, guys. This is very important. Uh, with these jewels, we can uh, get the virulence stacks over 40. And fortunately, Path of Building does not uh, currently support over 40 stacks. And overall, on bosses, you will not get more than 40 stacks. But overall, like for mapping, you will sometimes jump over like 50 stacks even with virulence and deal like a lot more damage so this is definitely uh, a thing to think about and lose virulence for a business lower is very very important this is like the most important thing you need to get uh first because uh, it you know outside of outside of pathfinder actually you will be losing virulence very very fast so no matter how fast you stack you will degenerate virulence very fast so this thing slows it down and you can keep up the stacks longer. Uh, the small cluster jewels is just fatals with kind of intelligence and all res if you can get it. And one here is the rot a reinforcement, 20% chance to get an enduring charge when you block, and 4% chance to block attack damage. Very important, guys, to get this. This will also overcap block later. 
After we get this fat uh, jewel over there, we start transitioning into life and start grabbing these things of life over here as well. And overall, we the, the main thing is to get resolute technique as fast as possible because uh, this will guarantee us the 100% chance to actually hit something and proc poison as well as proc Herald of Agony. This is very important to get early on as fast as possible. After that, if you have the money, you can start uh, investing into the second big cluster jewel over here. It's pretty much the absolute same. The only thing that is left here is this one, which is small cluster jewel one with the shield. Recover 50 life when you block 50% uh, increased defenses from group shield and 5% chance to block attack damage while holding a shield. This is it. So rotary reinforcement down below and one with the shield here. Uh, on the last small here, I decide I'm gonna take the um, just the uh, normal abyssal jewel for life and minion chance to blind on here with attacks. I think this is pretty good. As well, it fills up my intelligence a little bit, so I know I need a little more intelligence. So I decide to fill up all the way here on the normal jewels. After that, we'll transition up here to get devotion. You can get one more at jewel over here, and the last ones will be here with the purity of flash and spiritual command. Uh, for attack speed to the minions. The anointment is Sanctuary, uh, all res, the chance to block spell damage, chance to block attack damage. This is the all the juice you need to get and all resistance problem fixed with that. That's about it for the skill tree. Now let's talk about the items and this is uh, the core of the build I would say. The weapon is the call iron pointer just gives us plus three levels to the uh, Herald of Agony and we will have in the end if you get all the gear level 31 Herald of Agony which is a lot and will deal a lot of damage like four million and a half damage with this gear that I have is quite a lot for the Herald of Agony this is definitely some decent amount of DPS I, I, I had like way less than my money guardian actually the shield is victorious charity the reason we have this is we can get corruption with plus one to maximum chance to block attack damage on that. This is mandatory. And the most important thing here is 5% chance to get frenzy charge to nearby allies on hit, which is our Herald of Agony. So whenever we cyclone, we spin and we constantly grant frenzy charges to our Herald of Agony, which is very, very important. The helmet is basically the hunter helmet. Uh, I crafted it myself by throwing, I think, uh, chaos-based fossils on it. I don't remember. I think it was aberrance or bounce. I think it was aberrance, right? I might be, I might be forgotten this, but well, chaos-based fossils, guys, to get minus chaos rest. and make sure you buy one with the Herald of Agony reduced mana reservation. This is very important. So I crafted this myself. I didn't buy it. The body armor is skin of the loyal with three greens, two reds, and one blue, which is mandatory. Uh, colors for the Herald of Agony. This is very cheap actually this league. The, the Corrupted with plus one socket of gems which is GG. Uh, cost about like 25 to 30 exalts which is very cheap. The previous league it was about 70x. It was a normal price but this league is cheap. Uh, so you need to get that. Uh, the first one is just start the game. Uh, you don't have the, like too much currency. Just buy the normal one with the colors without the corruption will be more than enough. The gloves are uh, a little trick because this is where we'll be sitting our cyclone. Uh, you need gloves with poison and faster attacks. I will explain why you need faster attacks because the majority of the things people that play they just get the poison and not the faster attacks. So faster attacks guys it increases the amount of mana that we use for a cyclone but it also allows us to spin faster and it means we'll recover faster, we stack poison faster, we do everything faster. This is why I would definitely go for this. Faster text and poison, guys. I totally recommend it. I will uh, talk about the skills later on. The boots are pretty much straightforward boots with cannot be frozen, which I absolutely love. Guys can totally recommend buying something like that in craft cannot be frozen. You will not be disappointed and thank me very much, very many times. The amulet is the anvil which gives us life and mana recovery and block as well as plus three to maximum chance to block attack damage and this is guys an over capping block thing. 
uh, the uh, the anointment is sanctuary and keep in mind you don't know you do not need to corrupt this you don't need the corrupted anvil just leave yourself some strength here some extra life do not need to buy corrupted one this is very cheap the ring is here is was a big project of mine and this is basically the ring that I crafted myself I bought the elder base for the life cannon hit by your attacks as well as it was a vermilion ring which is a life base and then I multi I just palmed it with with whatever I can remember what till I got live game and hit and then I multi modded it with all res and changing skills have minus free to mana cost which is the cyclone very important to get close to this try to get that the second ring is the buff to the herald of agony and this is the circle of nostalgia amethyst ring chaos damage chaos res agony crawler deals see in a lot of increased damage and reduced reservation very important mandatory guys to get that the belt is per absolutely standard stigian wise with one remark it gets dexterity in it this is one of the only places where you can get dexterity or uh, let's say intelligence because you will need a decent amount of intelligence and decent amount of dexterity to uh, use all the skill gems within this build as well as faster attacks and all the dexterity gems so this is kind of the main uh, problem of the build I would say the main struggle you need dexterity and intelligence so the only two places we can get is either the boots or the uh, belt so I got dexterity on my belt and that's what I have uh, the abyssal jewel is practically just life intelligence once again chaos damage to minions and attack speed for minions the jewels I've been talking about them already you can see them already in the path of building but there is one red nightmare there as well keep in mind that gain uh, Passive granting fire resistance uh, or all elemental resistance in radius and also grant chance to block attack damage at 35% of its value. This is very important, guys. Make sure you get a red knife. It's not very expensive, it's like under an exile actually. So this thing should be here. I think I think I talk about all these things. Let's talk about the flask, one grenade for the armor, one portal faith, and this is just like pure DPS because you know. Consecure ground created during effect applies 9% increased damage taken to the animus as well as allows you to regen faster because you are on the consecrated ground. Everything else you don't care. Experimental silver will give me onslaught. This is my personal choice, like personal preference, because onslaught gives me more movement speed as well as more attack speed, which stacks the ticks on poison faster, which is just my personal preference, guys. You can use anything instead of that. Bazaar for the uh, physical damage reduction and the last one is just pure life flask. That's about it. Now let's talk about the actual skills and there are a couple of cool things that I kind of invented for this build and haven't anyone seen using that. So first of all guys is the specters. Uh, we have stone skin flares here and I can show you over there. Uh, this is a stone skin flare and the only reason why I use these specters is because they have a shit ton of life. All the other specters without the supports, they will just not survive, uh, you know, maps or bosses because they deal a lot of damage. These are the only specters that can potentially survive the majority of the shit in the game. Even the Flame Blast of the Bread series, they can survive that. Uh, if you support that with some mid shield and other shit, it can survive even more. But what I have here is just raise specter with feeding frenzy to make them really aggressive and fast and withering touch. Withering Touch is what I have to stack Wither so that the Herald of Agony will get this poison, massive amount of poison debuff and can unleash all the ton of damage that he has on them. So Spectres here just, just for survival, just for stacking Wither Touch, just for stacking Wither itself, guys. This is it. The 16 Herald of Agony, guys. Uh, Herald of Agony always 21, don't buy 20 at all. 21, 23. Uh, damage in full life, mandatory, pierce for clear speed. Pierce is actually amazing, I keep it all the time. You don't need anything else. So pierce, evasion, vicious, vicious projectiles, awakening minion damage, and empower is the last one. I think that empower is actually probably the last thing you know, should be getting. This is like the most expensive at a league start. The others are more affordable, that's about it. Now we have the procs, uh, temper shield uh, on the customer damage taken gives us a little more uh, chance to block as well chance to block attack damage if you remove that you see actually wait yeah 
Oh, it works without that. Okay, anyway, just in case your chance to block is lower than that, you can use Tempest Shield Animal for a little extra defense. Convocation, I use it manually to resummon uh, Herald of Agony and Spectres to regen them as well. Uh, Cyclone, guys, in the gloves, remember that we have poison and uh, faster attacks on the gloves, and this is life game on hit, Cyclone, Fortify, and Desecrate. I'm desecrating manually, it's there just sitting there, I'm manually desecrating, guys. So keep this in mind, I keep them uh, desecrate pretty low, I think. Well, I'll fix that, doesn't matter. So maybe it's 20, I I, I forgot. So wait, anyway, 45 cycle and life gain, you hear that this thing is mandatory in the gloves. The auras in the helmet, uh, this is main fleshing stone, summon skitter bots and dread banner. Uh, Skitter Boss is a shocking and uh, chilling aura. Uh, Dread Burner is just damage, and Flesh and Maimon Stone just fucking damage. That's about it. And the last custom damage taken this is like the biggest proc. Uh, level 2 custom damage taken was Spirit Offering, which gives Thesis extra chaos to the uh, minions, as well as Projectile Weakness to curse uh, for more projectile damage taken, as well as Whirling Blades here, just for the extra mobility. I do not spam Whirling Blakes left and right, it is quite mana heavy, so I would try to leave as much mana to this Cyclone as I can. So this is just for like emergency, when you get stuck in the corner or you're suckling out of that shit, it's too long. So this is where you just Whirling Blade out of the danger really fast, that's what I have. For the Pantheons, uh, Solaris for damage reduction, kind of mitigation of all kinds, Shikari for the poison immunity, and that's about it guys. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and as much as I enjoyed creating the build guide for you. This is definitely a very cool build. I think this is definitely one of my favorite builds of this league and overall it's in top 5 of all time favorite builds that I haven't ever played. Because of, you know, I like solid builds, I don't like squishy builds, If they like, even if it does like a lot of damage, I don't like, I don't like dying a lot. And I like playing very tanky builds, even for softcore, I don't just do you know, squishy shit. I try to squeeze as much tankiness and sustain from any build that I do. And this build is absolute success, this is definitely one of the tankiest builds I've ever played in the game. Uh, and I've had a lot of fun doing that. So guys, take care, thanks for watching, and see you next time.